ChatGPT 4.0 can create charts from Excel data. This includes charts that Excel natively cannot do, such as dumbbell charts, step charts, and violin charts. We can do this easily just through conversation with ChatGPT, and through this dialogue, we can ask ChatGPT to change the chart to our liking, adding metrics to labels, changing colors, and adding target lines. Let's have a look at what it can do. So here I have this data, about 2,000 rows, and we would like a column chart plotting the sum of total for each product category. Now this Excel file is named sales, and I'm going to upload this to ChatGPT and ask it for this chart. So here I am in ChatGPT 4.0 model, the brand new model that was brought out last week. It's their newest and most advanced model and currently free for all. I've uploaded the workbook and added a simple prompt to create a column chart to show total sales by category. Now advancements in ChatGPT are happening at a rapid pace at the moment and there seems to be something different every day. Something that happened in recent days is the introduction of these interactive charts. So as I position my mouse over the columns, I can see the color of the column get, get, get a little darker and also the tooltip with the label appears pretty cool and it shows the advancements that's happening at a sensational pace with ChatGPT. Now there are some icons in the top right. There is one to download the chart. There's also one to switch this chart to a static chart. And I'm going to do that right now because within the last couple of days I have noticed more success with static charts compared to the interactive ones. But this stuff is changing so fast, by the time you watch this video, we can possibly do the same and probably even more with the interactive ones. So I've switched it to a static chart, and for the next step, I'd like to change the order of the categories so they're ordered by their performance, by their total sales, and not by their name. So a simple prompt to change the order of the categories so that they're ordered by their total and not by their name. Now you can see some typos in that prompt. I often make them, but generally this does not prevent from ChatGPT from getting what needs to be done. So if I send this in, it happily performs what is necessary. Now a couple of other things we may notice it has changed it back to an interactive chart, as it does seem to be preferring them. And also there are even suggestions underneath the chart as to what else it can do, such as a breakdown of the data by month or a trend line. Now trend line's a nice idea, but let's change that. Maybe I'd like an average line. So real simple, I'm asking it to add an average line to the chart. Now it says it's added an average line and it's represented by a red dashed line, but I cannot see one. And I did say that I've noticed more success with static charts compared to interactive charts. So let me change this back to a static chart. And there we go. The average line is there. It's even added a label with the value. Now, as this materializes and I've changed it to a static chart, the name of the product categories has got a little bit more slanted. So I'm going to ask it to change from a column chart to a bar chart. Okay, that's done. We've now got our bar chart, but you can see just like when we create bar charts in Excel, 
and I've got a video to show how to do this in Excel, but it's changed the order of the axes containing category names. So from our point of view, they're probably upside down. Let's ask it to change that back. Look at this, how easy is this? Just conversing with ChatGPT, very quick, simple statements I'm giving it, and it's able to create these charts without us needing those Excel skills or even the, the labor required. But let's not stop here. I'd like it to change the color of those bars that go beyond the average line. And there we go. Now we do have our static chart going on at the moment. And if you had an interactive chart, you can actually specify the colors yourself. They have a nice drop down list and you can specify a hexadecimal value. Because we have the static chart, you can ask for a specific color using a prompt. But for now, I'm quite happy with the colors that they've provided. What I will do is ask it to add a metric into the chart title. So I'm asking it to update the chart title to show the sum of total for all categories. Very clear there. The detail in your prompts is gold. I need it to read total sales by category and then follow that with the sum of total without decimals. And there we go. We've got a really good chart title there. Although it shows two chart titles, please be rest assured it's only going to use the one we can see just above the chart. Now I'm going to ask you to add commas to the value that's shown in the title. That value is in the millions and it's a little awkward to read. Look at that. Just how amazing is this? You would need knowledge of the text function in Excel and how to connect chart titles to these names or these cell values to do this otherwise. So I think for my final prompt, I'm going to tidy this up by asking it to remove the grid lines and also to remove those axes titles. And here we go. So I think that concludes this example. We can go further and specify colors. We can add subtitles. We could switch off the value axes for data labels. And really my goal of this video was to show you what is possible in ChatGPT and to encourage you now to go and practice and see what is possible. And please, if you find out some cool uses, let me know. We're all learning together. I'm still finding my way around this myself. Now I will download this chart. So if I click on the icon mentioned earlier to download. Now that has downloaded it as a PNG file. And that naturally means that we can insert that image now into other documents, whether it be my slide deck for a presentation I'm delivering, or maybe even to a Word doc for a uh, report or other documentation that I'm creating. So I've gone ahead and inserted the picture into this file, and I've got my presentation done, and I've created that chart in about 60 seconds, just with natural speak to chat GPT. Fast, simple, powerful. This is truly awesome. I hope you found this video useful. Please let me know in the comments what have you seen that ChatGPT can do that helps you in Excel. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up. It certainly helps the algorithm and helps me spread these videos. And if you like this content, then subscribe and you'll be notified about the latest content coming out at this channel. Take care, and I'll see you again soon.